Hello everyone and welcome to, yet again, another Friday new product post with me, Robert. Um, let's take a look at the products that we have for this week. So here at SparkFun, we're of course always perfect and never make any mistakes. Of course I'm kidding, we make mistakes all the time. Here's a good example of one. This is probably pretty familiar to some of you. This is our um, DC to DC converter. Um, you will notice a slight difference. It is pink. Purple. This is purple. Just made another mistake. This is the same board as our lily pad boards. It's even a little bit thinner and it comes in the lily pad purple. We didn't want this to happen. We did not mean for this to happen, but the mistake was made and we accidentally got the PCB in lily pad purple. It is still the same board, it just has a thinner PCB, um, so we're actually going to sell this as a different SKU for a discounted price, so if you're really looking for a purple DC to DC converter, here you go. A um, little bit about the DC to DC converter, um, it takes anywhere from 4.5 volts to 14 volts in, and it converts it out into, I think, like 0.59 volts to um, upwards of 5.5. Um, you just take a resistor and put, I think it's like um, the trim, LED on the back, yeah, the trim. So you just connect a resistor in with the trim and you can vary the amount of voltage out. And like I said, anywhere from about a half volt up to 5.5. I've been able to get six out of these. Your mileage may vary. The good thing about this board is if you need a lot of current, this guy can supply upwards of six amps out. So it can actually do quite a bit of current. Um, so if you're looking for just a very simple board that can take one voltage in and give you a very clean half to, you know, about six volts out, check out the new and lovely purple DC to DC converter. So here we have a new surface mount IC for all you surface mount people. Um, this is the Atmega 32U4. Um, the 32U4 might be familiar to some of you. Um, we are using this IC on the new Pro Micros. Uh, we have the Pro Minis, which use the Atmega 32 uh, 328. This is the 32U4. The 32U4 is a little bit different in that it combines the um, whole UART section with the microcontroller. So one thing you get, you know, the whole package. So before you'd have to have like an FTDI plus the Atmega 328. This you only have to have the one IC. So it's pretty cool. And this is also the same IC that is going to be used on the famed Arduino Leonardo, which is coming out very soon. So. If you want to get a jump start on that, um, we've got this IC available in um, the TQFP package. And um, we have this in the Eagle Library, so it shouldn't be that hard to implement it. And um, go ahead and check out this new IC and start building your own um, Pro Micro clones or Leonardo clones. And finally, we have yet another toolkit. Um, in the video a couple few weeks back, I was talking about the intermediate and advanced toolkits that we just had. Well, now we have the new fancy version of the beginner toolkit. So this comes in this um, you know, nice little red box. And the beginner toolkit is more aimed at the person who, let's say, is just getting started in this and doesn't quite yet know if they want to continue. And you know, really, you just don't want to invest with a bunch of money in tools, but you want to have what you need to have to get the project done. So let's open up the beginner toolkit and see what all is inside. So first off, the most important thing about this toolkit is the soldering iron. Now, this is different from, I don't know, something like this guy, you know, where we have the whole cradle and the station, everything. This is just your basic soldering wand or soldering iron. Uh, it plugs directly into the wall and you have this um, simple handle. It's about as basic as you can get. I think it's like 35 watts. It is not adjustable, so there's that. Um, you can change the tips um, by just unscrewing this, and there you go, you can change the tips real easily. So you can use multiple tips, um, but it is not temperature adjustable. So if you're doing something really sensitive to heat or if you're doing a big solder joint, you can't unfortunately adjust the temperature for that. Um, but for you know most small kits and most basic soldering work, this will be just fine. In addition to that, we also have um, this little soldering base. So it's got this little piece as well as this. It's cooperating. So you go. So you have this um, little stand. It screws in a little bit more, but um, inside we've got 
the sponge, which, you know, you add water to and it expands. And the sponge is handy for cleaning off the tip. So you wet the sponge, you get some gunk on your tip, and you just wipe it off, and that's what the sponges are for. So the sponge fits in this little thing right there. That sits down. And there you go. Look at that. It's fancy. Um, so you get this thing, and then in addition, you get a couple of these pliers. You get some flush cutters, and then you also get some um, basic pliers there. They're spring load, they have a spark from flame, and they're red. Um, you get those. In addition, you get some solder wick, which is very handy. I'll explain that in a second. Um, you get one of these really simple reversible screwdrivers with a little clip so you can clip it on your shirt. So we get one of those, and then just a basic tube of solder. So that is what the beginner's soldering kit comes with. Let's take the opportunity to talk a second about solder wick. Um, solder wick is a copper braid, and it is very useful in fixing soldering errors. So you have your iron, you're soldering something, you get too much on there, you get a blob, and let's say you connect a couple pins accidentally that shouldn't be connected. Um, the beauty about solder wick is it wicks away the excess solder. So all you would do is you would unspool some of this, you'd heat up that joint again with the solder wick in place, and the wick will wick it right away. And those two jumpers that you had, or those um, two pins that were, you know, jumpered together, now they'll be separated. So it's really easy to use solder wick, and it's really handy to have around. Um, if you're doing surface mount components like um, that I see I just talked about, and you have all these like you know really tightly pitched pins together, you can just um, use the wick to actually get rid of the jumpers in between them. So definitely, you know, if you've never used solder wick, definitely try out some solder wick. So this is the beginner's toolkit and has pretty much everything you would need. I mean, granted, there's a couple little things like flux and other things that you might need, but if you're just trying to put together a very basic kit, um, like maybe the Simon or um, Mr. Robot or things like that, this kit would get the job done. Um, it's really small, it's inexpensive, and um, should give you pretty much everything you need. So if you're just looking to start out, check out the beginner's kit. So here is yet again the conclusion to another new product video. We have a couple new products this week, and as always, we have more new products on the website, so go ahead and read that whole new product post for hidden gems, puns, and more new products. And we'll be again next week with, of course, more new products. See you then.